Hello YouTube, we're installing Mint Linux 17, the latest on a MacBook 1.1. These are the MacBooks from way back 2007, late 2007. And, um, you know, if you don't want to get uh, to a point in the installer that it will say, you know, um, would you like to replace Mac OS X with Linux? If you don't want to come there, but if you want to see uh, install mint linux aside uh, mac os x you know then uh, you will have to do two very important things before you gonna install mac on that particular laptop you must make sure that you already divided your hard drive in several partitions that for instance you use in this machine i have 300 gigabyte hard drive i used 100 for mac os x partitioned as a Mac OS X journal partition the two the second and the third partition also a hundred gigabyte big I did not format it but one I formatted as uh, as fat partition in uh, arrays in this tools you will see if you are in your Mac and you go to this tools you know and you see the drives you can then erase the drive you know and select fat partition okay so when you did that all and you named it Linux for by 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 uh, example or so and then you know if you did that then you will boot, be able to boot up thanks to you know refit showing your USB stick with Linux on it you know the one you created with power ESO um, it will see it and then you will be able to boot from it and when you boot it from it you know with your MacBook 1.1 because this is all happening on a MacBook 1.1 you know the oldest 32 bit version of this machine no big deal this machine is not so much worth it anymore it's an old Mac and I think many people should buy it if they can find one because these Macs they are great Macs peeps they're great Macs so uh, what are we doing here I uh, booted with Mint Linux, I got to the desktop, I hit the install and now you can see that it will say install Linux Mint alongside Mac OS X. This is what we want to see. We don't want to see replace Mac OS X with Linux, Linux Mint because in fact we want to run still keep our Mac OS X you know but we would like to see the possibility of you know also using a very updated operating system you know on the machine because in fact that is not possible with this machine anymore because it's so old that you know it can run Windows 7 just fine but um, yeah still you know uh, if you want to install Linux and you want to install Linux aside Mac you know this is the way how to do it you must create um, you must create an extra partition before you will be able to do this otherwise you cannot do this i replace you will only see replace mac os x with Li linux mint you will not see install linux mint alongside can you can you read that peeps you will not be able to see that okay um my battery is almost empty so we're just gonna hit continue here yeah and here you will see uh linux mint 50 gigabytes uh you see that so I, I I think it's it's fine, you know, it's just fine. I I like it like this. It's along it's it's a side uh, Mac OS X. So I will keep my Mac OS X. So we just hit install now. Before you can select a new partition uh, size size any previous changes you have been written to this you cannot undo this please note that the resize partition may take a long time continue it won't take such a long time because there's nothing on the partition you see there's totally nothing on it. In fact, it won't take so long. But uh, I won't let you look at this. Uh, if I get to the next step, I'll get back to you. 
make sure you see on top here install linux mint alongside mac os x you know if you don't see this you are screwed you will lose your mac os x installation and probably the whole thing won't boot up anymore so also make sure that you have a mac os x install dvd you know just in case that it goes wrong you know also back up your files before doing a thing like this you know if you have nothing on the mac installed then you know it's no problem then you can make uh, a great uh, mac linux book of this thing and uh, in our next video if this all goes right then we're gonna install windows as well and you know i will see how to get the sound card working because if it's one thing that i hate it's a computer with no sound I can't stand that man so I really need to fix that and otherwise I will not even use it you know so here you can see I have a mouse connected otherwise I have no right mouse click in Linux but I can tell you for Windows users at that uh, that also uh, use a Mac peeps get a mouse you will be more powerful this is an almighty mouse and this is the mighty mouse from Mac you see Almighty mouse, mighty mouse. This one better than this mouse. Remember that. And also, a uh, 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 future company uh, laptop makers, think of this. Don't try to imitate Mac. This is a good mouse. You see that? With the left and the right button. This is a good mouse. You see? Here, this is a good mouse. You see that? Good mouse. Bad mouse. Almighty mouse. See the difference? Alright. By the way, uh, this is taking a long time. Uh, I want to show it uh, real fast to you. This process is taking a long time, so don't worry about it. You know, let it uh, partition the drive and let it do the do. You know, nothing you can do now. Just, you know, leave the machine and go make yourself some coffee or some food. Hi, YouTube. You see, this is a little case. And there, you can see a fly. And look how I will kill this blood clock fly. Ah! Oh, I missed! I did not miss. It did get a hit on its head. I think this is one of its legs. Oh no, that's another fly. But I think this fly, it won't come back for now. That's how to chase away a fly. Yo peeps, no kidding. When they said it's gonna take it might take a long time, it's taking a real long time. I did many things already and it's still busy, so I'm not gonna touch it. Otherwise I will, you know, spoil the whole thing. So you know, this might take a while. This whole partitioning I probably had to use the advanced partition tool here, you know, but I just did it the easy way, so, you know, the easy way, most of the times, is also, sometimes it's not good for something, otherwise it would not be the easy way. Well, some things are, but in this case, we must wait until this partition is, I don't even understand what it's doing, but I think it's going all good. So, we're not gonna touch it, we just let it do the do, and, you know, after this is done, you know, it might be like really dark outside, I'm not sure, but at least we will have uh, Mint Linux uh, installed aside alongside Mac OS X. Okay, about the installing beside alongside Linux, when you get to the next step, you know, you must slide the partition of Linux, slide it to you know, um, to the 100 gigabyte, 90 gigabytes that you want it to be, and you will see that there will be other partition of nine mega, uh, nine gigabyte that will also be uh, created. Make sure that you know you make that partition. You can just slice it with the mouse. You know, like zzz, then you will see Linux here, and you know the nine gigabyte files that should also be installed just slide it and make that one 13 gigabyte and the rest is for Linux then hit next then the partition won't take so long and then at the next step after you choose your language you can choose your keyboard you know so now we're in fact installing mint Linux aside uh, 
this is Mac Linux yups and let me put in a password real fast and one more and also select to log in automatically so now we continue and now uh, Linux will be installed on this uh, little darling and you know after it will reboot you know we will see uh, the refit bootloader again and that one <clears throat> in there we can then just simply choose what we want to boot up if it's gonna be Mac or if it's gonna be uh, Linux you know or even Windows that we're gonna install after this one on the other partition just to see how it works and to see if we can get the drivers to work because that's important because I could not get the sound card driver to work everything was working fine the Wi-Fi was working but no sound I mean like what's up with that yo so we need to fix that and I'm gonna fix it I'm sure okay the installation is complete peeps there we go so we're gonna hit restart now real fast before the battery of my phone is also empty you know we just installed mint Linux on a MacBook so this is like a Mac Linux now and we will have to remove the stick and then hit enter so and now we should come to refit again and now we can just boot Linux oh <laughs> look at that yo that little penguin did you see that did it look sexy and up here you can you know boot Mac if you still want to boot Mac 32 bit and there is Linux 32 bit ever booting Linux and you know we can enjoy mint Linux there you go so peeps this is how to install mint Linux on your MacBook 1.1 and for those having uh, the MacBook 1.1 still you know and running um, yeah a little bit outdated software on the 10.6.3 or 6.8 because you know it's outdated well you can install mint linux now but first you must watch my other video how to install refit because refit will make your mac a very powerful machine but don't forget right mouse click is not worky worky you will only get that with the almighty mouse and not with the mighty mouse thanks for watching Bye bye and have fun with your Mac. Your old Mac is still better than many other laptops I still see around. With so less specifications, only one gigabyte of RAM, this thing is doing amazing stuff. Bye now.